Yeah. <laughs> Sizing up at about 175, 180. Didn't know, I wish well, I was so, there, man. I know you're hungry. Yo, you're yo, out here, chilling on the block. Yo, 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 Everyone's just running on Evan Jones has just gone down. <laughs> Listen, it's not going past six rounds, bro. Honestly, I don't know who the fuck is supposed to be my friend or my fault. I'm a ex bro. Yeah, she give me that claim as well. I remember back when I was younger, I was happy. Now they feel like no one in the stand. I'm gonna ask. And next up, her opponent, Ebony Jones. Making her debut as a professional, fights out of Portsmouth, England. Joe Pickford. Joe Pickford rated at 150. Give me your fight prediction for your fight. My fight, I'm, I'm, listen, it's not going past six rounds, bro. Nah, man. Okay, I hear you. Nah, loud and clear. And Richard Riyakor. He's a good fighter, he's strong, comes forward, but I think that his style's made for me. I think he'll walk onto shots. I think I'll, uh, I'll hurt him mid rounds and it'll, it'll play out as me winning. Four rounds for the European welterweight title between the challenger Liam Taylor Right, I have found the Cobra Carl Froch. I had the way in. What do you make of Chris Eubank? He just found me. I was hanging around outside. Just waiting, <laughs> waiting for the main event tomorrow. What do I make of Chris Eubank? Yeah, well, what do you make of, of him at the way in? Mate, I love Chris Eubank Jr. I just love everything. I love the brand. I love, I love his dad. I get on really well with, with Chris Sr. And um, I love the fact that he comes into the ring confident. He's here to put a show on. Yeah. I just love everything about him. Um, and the fact that he sparred with me for six weeks in the build-up to the Groves fight at Wembley where I chinned Groves. I went to school with Groves as well. You broke me then when I was about to... Did you? Did yeah. you mate? Yeah, yeah. That's it, I better be careful what I say. <laughs> You're sizing up at about 175, 180 at the moment. I wish I was, man. man. Yeah. You're getting all the McDonald's yeah, I'm being there. polite, on it. But no, I like him and I think he'll do the business. I think he'll go on to eventually become a world champion. But he needs to get a move on now. Johnny, we just had the weigh-in. What did you make of it? What, what did you make of... The Liam Taylor Avenician. Uh, Taylor Avenician. Yo, 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 Everyone yo. just ran all over. <laughs> Ebony Jones has just gone down. <laughs> Ebony Jones it? just slipped, slipped past. You know what? She that was funny that interview with her and Andy Scott because she was giving him one word answers. Yes. It's a, it's a professional debut. Debut. So I'm thinking, oh poor girl. And she looks like a kid. But I'm telling you now, when that bell goes, yeah. I bet she's a complete nightmare yes. when the bell goes. I'm so sure she good is. on her. Uh, Avenician Taylor. Taylor. It's Avenician's uh, managed defence of that European title. He's the man that people conveniently forget, don't want yeah. to talk about. And and and. More so, we're probably guilty of the same thing again. Yeah. But now this man is in a position where he's in the who needs him club. Yeah. And so nobody wants to fight him because yeah. risk reward don't pay off. Yeah. So so he's making the most of that position he's in. And as long as he keeps that position, stays European champion, and keeps doing what he's doing, yeah. it's his work rate that is a nightmare. Yeah. It's his work rate that gives gives his opponents hell fire. Well, I looked at Liam Taylor midweek and he he looked ready. And even on the scales, he, he may have looked a little bit tight on there, yeah. but he looked like he was ready, he looked like he knew he was in a fight, stared down. He, he didn't look like he was gonna, he yeah, was gonna back but down. He's at the stage in his career where he can't afford to be losing. He's yeah. 30, 
30 years old, 31 years old. At this stage, if you have a crack at the European title, yeah. that means it's your, the next step is a world title or, or an eliminate for world title. Yeah. If you lose, you're back down to domestic level. Yeah. You don't want to be scrabbling around down there because yeah. there's a lot of young guys down there yeah. that have got the energy, that have got the pace. So the Italian would have to wait probably a number two years to get back in that position again. Yeah. That means he's 32. He's gotten older, he's gotten slower. Yeah. So so this is very important to Taylor. He's done it all. So if Avanissin is the real deal, and he, and he really is the best fighter in Europe at his way, then he's got to deal with people like this. He's well, got to what keep are you position. predicting? I'm predicting Avanissin wears him down. And towards the end, uh, we're talking nine to twelve. Late uh, stoppage. Uh, late stoppage. Honestly, I don't know who the fuck you trust. This is my friend or my foe. I'm a f ex draw. Yeah, she give me that claim as well. I remember back when I was younger, I was happy.